Hi, this is Jared from ShoeGnome, and today I want to talk about adding shadows and color to elevations in ARCHICAD. Um, most of these techniques will work in earlier versions of ARCHICAD, but uh, what I'm going to show today works best in ARCHICAD 20 with the latest update, which is 5025, which came out in late February 2017, and I suppose future versions of ARCHICAD. So let's start with a simple elevation. There's nothing really going on here. The line weights are set to uniform, so I don't have to worry about heavy airlines and all that classic rubbish. Um, and it's designed to just let the model elements create legibility. And that's fine. It works, but it could be better. So let's look at an elevation with shadows turned on. So we turn on the shadows by going to the elevation settings. So I'm right-clicking. Um, you could also do this from the plan or the info box. And I'm going down to Sun and Shadows, and I'm turning them on. I'm setting them to Custom, that you could do by 3D Window. If you did by 3D Window, you'll end up with two elevations where the shadows look great and correct, and the other two where it's just dark because those elevations are in shadow. So I find the classic 45, 45 shadows work the best. Um, so we turn all that on. I find a 50% fill type for the shadow polygons works really well, and a completely black pen and a transparent background pen. So that gives us elevation of the shadows. Now we can go a step farther and say let's give color to the elevations. So we do that by going to the elevation settings and going to uncut elements and filling the uncut surfaces with uh, own colors, non-shaded or shaded. Let's do sh non-shaded first um, and hit OK. So we could do all this up until recently, no problem. But if you noticed, we are changing the settings of the elevation, not the view. So an elevation marker either has color or doesn't have color. So historically, if you wanted a color elevation and a non-color elevation, you needed two different markers. Now, with graphic overrides, we can strip away the color. Let me show you how you do that. I'm going to go to my uniform line weight, cover fills white, hit the edit rules, and I have a cover fills white rule. That takes any element that's not a zone and turns the cover fill to white. So there we have it. You can switch back and forth. Color, no color. Color, no color. Now I've set up clone folders for my elevations in my view map. And of course, all of this is in my template, which you can go download and test out for yourself. So I have color elevations and I have non-color elevations. So I can just quickly um, switch between them as needed. You know, have some in schematic set, have some in regular set, etc. Um, so that's awesome. Now, a um, couple of caveats and things and some other notes. Let's see, under elevation settings, we can go to shaded. And that you'll notice just changes the color slightly because now the shadows have the tone of the building, the surface behind it. But if we go to cover fills white, you'll notice that the shadow is now blue rather than gray. Um, that's because the shadow has color to it. And so we can create another graphic override that's drafting fills gray that turns the background fill pen to gray. And that will fix that shadow. However, that's a little bit of a blunt instrument because now we're turning all drafting fills background to gray. So if we drew some other fills, um, or we created some other things. Let's go to uniform line weight again. Um, if we created some other things that had a drafting fill on them that were not fills, it could get messy. So um, I find that I'm going to stick with uh, non-shaded. And that's going to work just as great. So let's go to color. So that's the basics of it. I want to show one other feature, this elevation. So we have a nice uh, gradient fill. It's going from blue to white to give a little, you know, extra
extra something in the background. Let's go to the building materials, change the um, siding color to make the building pop a little bit more. And this is really where the colored elevations are going to really shine, is that you can do color studies by changing building materials uh, and changing the surfaces. Of course, you can do this in 3D, but being able to do it in simple elevation uh, with all your notes will be very nice and is something that we couldn't do easily in the past. Um, so this gradient fill, I'm going to change to my white elevations and you'll see that that fill disappears. What's happening is I have a graphic override rule that turns linear and radial gradient fees to white and so I can just make that uh, disappear. So that's all I wanted to cover just how to turn on and off colors and turn on and off shadows in ARCHICAD using the elevation settings and graphic overrides. Finally all of this stuff can be done with sections as well, um, but if you're turning colors of surfaces on in sections, you might want to turn off shadows and just be aware of perhaps color override if your cut elements are also in color. You just want to make sure legibility stays there. Uh, that's all I've got for you guys today. Thank you very much.